Please tell me this game actually works. Uh, uh. Yes, dear. Control yourself. That's a come out. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never Honestly. understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's but... nothing disturbing about it. It's just that but I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You've come no. so far. So, if you think about mentioning the dishwasher, you can forget everything about it. Next? Mine. Why do you think I put it back there? They actually have everyone. Seriously. There, but my old teacher, Mr. I can say the same. transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. Just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, Sober. here. Celebrate bread line? I suppose so. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Thanks. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. I don't have my clipboard.
I don't have my clipboard. Okay, so here's Rebecca. Great, perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. my clipboard. Max, very popular. Put bag for the husky to not go around and he goes right next to it. Of course he does. Thank <laughs> you. 
just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? E yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Loud. Sorry. Time to embalm. All right, I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get oh. started. I'll be monitoring. Need to change tires. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Thank you. 
I can't hold anything else. Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it.
，早点开始监测，知道吗？如果好不行，是这这归到学校跟学校之间。我已经决定了，没得商量。马教练。嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯嗯，早饭吃了吃了，早饭，早饭，真痛苦，真痛苦的。啊，对了，啊，对了，是吗？It's a bright place. Oh, my God. That's not it. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. It just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. 
Well, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Oh, man, okay. She has a white bra. Ugh. I really need that. What? The woman and man that's sitting in the position that he's naked, she's got a red bra, and you can't see whether they're doing it or just sitting and kissing. Hmm. And I don't really want to have my fantasy going on that. Just starting to hurt again. All right, guess so I'll head to the back and get started. I'm trying to put a headset on for gas. I shouldn't play this game so you can hear it. I just heard it work. Oh, amazingly, it did. I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until <coughs> made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? All right, listen carefully. I'm, I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. 
I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <laughs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. This is insane. Whatever. Just a professional one. Grab a body and get started. Yeah, screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you, until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The man they need to I've found to tell how far along a position hmm? is on your Don't. own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't yeah, think about it. it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere, so look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture, uncover the sigils, Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. The Night Shift Database, a computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. At least I can keep track of things.
Check you out. I'm getting back to work. need to file the copy up front.
We're going now. Time to embalm. No, I can't let that. Flora, go elect her.
Hello? Hello? Rebecca? Rebecca? What the? Okay, like that. Not what I meant, but I'll take it. something. I'm missing something. Thank you. 
right. Come here. Rebecca? Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. You should be the one here. Lifeless. Worthless. It's me! There we go. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. No one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. <laughs>
No. I already ha I already have one of those. There we go. Yeah, he's not supposed to
Can't hold anything else. There we go. There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
already have one of those. Watching a show. The show, the main male lead, he has the sickness of uh, face blindness, if you know what that is. Basically, you can see people, but this, you can't see. So you can't see if it's your mum coming in right. or another woman until you remember the details of the rest of the body. Okay. Well, the main female, he can see. No? Wait a minute, we don't know the sickness. That's so rare of you not knowing the sickness. That's so annoying. I I've a... heard about it, but I haven't heard that much about it. Uh, because I had a question for you. Sure. I watched, uh, what do you call it, real life TV about a woman that found out about she had it where she panicked with not being able to find her children in the supermarket. Makes sense. <laughs> anyway, when, every time the male lead because the female lead, I think he is able to start seeing others because she is, what do you call it? Um, they are behind the door, and then one of her, their friends walk in on them while he smacks the door into them, so they fall and go lip to lip. So they bite and the kiss. Mm -hmm. And he does like them. Um, and then, when he turns around, that other guy is clear, like she is. Mm -hmm. But then after he is, they stood there for a few minutes and he's blinked with his eye, and the guy fades away again. For me, that's kind of hinting to that when they kiss, you can see clear after. But I'm wondering, would that be how it works in real life? Like, there's some things that no. just can set it off? Well, yes and no. I mean... Strong emotions have been known to uh, temporarily solve some brain-related issues. Uh, same with that adrenaline helps you become ten times stronger than uh, you normally would be. Uh, because it's the brain getting tricked into stop defending the body and just let the body go crazy. So, is it realistic? Kind of. It's plausible, but highly unlikely.
I already have one of those. I already have one of those. Sure, this is the right one.
You're 28? Who's like 34?
right. Nice not to be the one down there for a change. Uh, Raymond? I suppose a first name basis is in order. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. You've come a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad I'm here. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you... Oh, no. You chose the wrong body. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Watch your foolish school and drink it as it melts from your pit of a frame! Thank <laughs> you. 